She put all this effort into it, and she's not even waiting around for her results. Well, if you were getting everything twisted on you, would you want to stick around uh, here anymore? Nobody's getting nothing twisted on her. When you are, you know, raped, okay? You have real hospital reports. You have real police reports. You have a stack of detectives cards that you can provide. You can, we can call and get any case and they'll tell us there's an open investigation. They'll say that her name's in the system and she couldn't prove any of that. So what does that tell you? The police don't know about her? She was brutally raped? And they don't have any idea who she is? So your uh, fiance came here and she took a lie detector test. And uh, again, I find it odd that she just ran and didn't even want to know her results. Are you fabricating a story that you were raped on February 18th? She answered no. Did you fabricate documents as proof that you were raped? She answered no. Did you falsify the text messages of Amanda confessing? She answered no. And the results of her polygraph test is purposeful non-cooperation. Terrible, terrible story. Uh, nothing adds up. Uh, if, you, if you suffered this kind of crime, you, you'd be able to have tons of paperwork. Uh, the whole thing, like the policeman's putting a statement, yes, she was raped. Is, he's writing his professional opinion on a medical document? Never heard of it. Never, never heard of it. Never. Um, so how do you want to explain her test? Uh, purposeful non-cooperation. I haven't seen that one before. Sure. So Steve, a person who's honest and truthful would cooperate. Does everybody agree? Yeah. yeah. And a person who's being deceptive would do everything in their power not to cooperate. That's exactly what Sandra did. Sandra came into the polygraph room yesterday and was crying, saying, I don't want to take this test. I don't want to be here. She then takes a phone call from and says, oh, I haven't been avoiding you. I've just been busy. So I said, OK, great. Can you please turn off the phone? No, I have to Says, I haven't been avoiding you. I've just been busy. Then she gets up and says, I can't take this test because said that he's a preacher and it will embarrass him if I go on national TV. As she's walking, she says, I can't take this test because if I do, I'll lose custody of my children. Where the hell does that come from? All right, comes back afterwards with, the, with one of the producers, uh, refuses to take the test again. This morning she was supposed to take the test. She stated that uh, she was withdrawing from pain pill addiction and she was scared that the polygraph would be wrong. This afternoon I bring her into the polygraph um, office here and I start to conduct the polygraph test. And I said, let me test you to make sure you're testable. So we're gonna ask you to lie and tell the truth. It's called the stimulation test where I stimulate your reactions. Then I start the regular test, Steve, and I start asking her the questions. And meanwhile, she had sat with me yesterday, she had sat with me today, and she showed no signs, as she did here when she was walking, of any discomfort or pain. During the testing, oh, oof. and I'm not exaggerating this, it's true. Uh, e, a, u, u, and basically distorted the charts where I couldn't read them. So that whole thing from start to finish, purposeful non-cooperation. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Okay.